tonight. It's the project trying to tackle the stigma of living in Guernsey State's housing. Residents on three of the island's estates are the focus of a new exhibition called Guerns, which looks at the realities of life in social housing. It's all thanks to London photographer Jason Wilde, who specialises in capturing the lives of people living in UK council housing. The project was put together to plug a gap in Guernsey's archives. We've asked those involved to tell us what it was like to be part of the plan to document Guernsey's forgotten communities. People assume that we're all, you know, low class, low intelligence, you know, criminals, possibly. No one really knows what it's like living in a state's house, so people always get the wrong idea when actually these photos show different. They do want a voice, they do need a voice, they do want to be part of Guernsey's history. There were absolutely no representation of the community living in uh, housing estates. And we thought, well, you know, that's a real shame because those people are basically part of the community completely. And um, I think it's unfair not to have them as part of, uh, as part of this photography archive. For me, when I grew up on estates like this, Women were the backbone of communities. But women, you know, they, they were the mainstay and, and they, they brought the roost. Um, they won't like that, but they do. Uh, and also, whilst researching the project, I came across a passage in a book, I can't remember what book, but it said during the war, 17,000 women and children were evacuated to mainland Britain. And it kind of seemed like a, that was a nice hook to hang the project on. It's kind of reintroducing women and children back into Guernsey history, back into the Guernsey narrative. I think it's great. I mean, it's a true representation of me. I mean, you know, chaos, clutter, carnage, you know, they're my favourite words. People don't want to know. It's, it's sort of, a, we'll, we'll put them away in that corner, you know, that's cool. I don't have to see them, don't have to think about them, don't have to worry about them. But then, you know, if there's an issue anywhere, oh, but it's somebody from the estate, you know, it's like, wow. And I think a lot of people were afraid to get involved with the project because of the stigma. But I hopefully this is going to break some of the barriers down, so I'm looking forward to that. Projects like this will show that we are actually just the same as everybody else. I mean, there is no difference, it's just um, a property. I kind of think they just show how happy we are, like, this is where we live, we don't, we don't choose to, like, be different. It's just how, how we live and who we are. It's just what it shows, it shows that we're happy. Fantastic projects. And there is quite a lot of snobbery, I reckon, that exists in the islands. Maybe they should do one in Jersey as well. Yeah, there you yeah, go. I think so. An idea has been, uh, has been sourced there now uh, to sport and Guernsey's...